Dr. Fauci is about to prove almost, I mean, like so many things that the right wing says are about to become kind of like this new understanding of things. So one is the famous, the famous uh, cringe line that's always attributed to Reagan about, uh, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Well, Fauci has just kind of made that like totally a new type of political gospel. Next thing that Fauci has done is he's about to prove that feminists don't exist. Because I guarantee you, there is not going to be any, any group of feminists or women who are going to suddenly petition the government and say, there were so many injuries specifically to women by the COVID vaccine. There is so little work being done to alert the public quite specifically because now keep this in mind some of you will remember because you're old enough remember when they realized that they had not really tested aspirin on women in the 90s that they just they kind of thought it they thought it would work the same they just hadn't really thought about testing it you know and then to find out oh because it thins the blood it actually has a, a, a specific effect that's different on women. Well, the COVID vaccine has a specific set of effects that are different for women. I am betting nobody is going to lobby the government from the left to deal with female injuries from the vax. I, I guarantee it. I'm almost willing to even bet money, but that's a sin. So, uh... There's going to be that. The fact that we were just told this government institution, they, they're, they're full of experts. It's, they're full of experts. Don't you understand the expertise? Next is this fundamental concept of, oh yeah, well, conservatives are full of dumb ideas because they're dum-dums. Because liberals are the smart smarts. <laughs> and now that's gone. Fauci is about to actually make everybody understand no, liberals are just agreeable that's it they're not necessarily more intelligent people rational or logical they are just more willing to agree to what you say <laughs> especially if they think you're an expert from the fucking government this is beautiful this is beautiful. And remember how even that expertise suddenly went unquestioned when it was simply Biden as boss, which it speaks more volumes about what really liberals are to their, to, at their pith, in the marrow of their bones, what they really are. And so the, the, then the next, then the next is... So what about the medical industry and the school teachers? So, and then, oh, and then how much smarter than everybody the liberal women are? Fauci's about to ruin all of those concepts. He's about to prove, no, mom doesn't really understand science. Fauci's about to prove that. <laughs> He's about to prove, no. You shouldn't listen to liberals about health. They're, they're, they, no. And he, I mean, the things that Fauci's about to prove that are going to make the right wing triumph is unreal. I'm just tasting it already. <laughs> like, I'm already, I could smell, smell the, 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 the gravy being prepared in the kitchen. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. Just the utter decimation of the very, of the whole, the key thing. The liberals are really smart. They're smart people who care about things. That's all going to go down the toilet. Now with, with the, because with, remember there's more coming with Fauci. There's more coming. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. <clears throat> this is only the beginning. And, and the beauty of this is then when the conservative women, conservative law groups, conservative lawyers, 
start going after these doctors, these medical associations. There were people, what, were there, I, I forget if there were people who actually lost their license. But definitely there were people who would say they lost their jobs. Oh my God, the level of lawsuit. Now, there's a lot of medical groups that better start fucking getting ready. And then the big one, the GOP can absolutely in no way, shape, or form justify Obamacare. That's the alert I really want to put out. That's the big one. Now Obamacare, this is open season. Now we've seen it. Now we've seen exactly what will go wrong. Because you look at something like Israel and those people, to the, because there's, I think, four or five HMOs, and three of them absolutely required the jab. You couldn't have medical insurance without getting the jab and the boosters. until by the th and, and we're still not getting the vaccine injuries from there. People want to talk about Palestine and Israel. Well, Palestinians didn't get the vax. They, they took antiviral. They took anti, uh, oh, uh, malarials. Like most of continental Africa and most of co the subcontinent of India. So, so now we really, like, we're, we're, we're now four or five years ahead of everybody else on science. And we, people like me, get to now officially be like, you guys are either stupid or chumps or just incredibly dishonest people. That you're just like evil levels of dishonest. That you will go along with the devil to smite God. I, I mean, it's, it, there's not many ways this works. It's pretty much those three. You're a dummy. You, 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 just, you, you're, you didn't have knowledge. Or you're kind of a chump. Which, remember, that's Malcolm X's thing. If you, you vote Democrat because you're a chump. And then the last one is, no, you, this was, you were going to stick it to everybody. You're, you're all going to get the fucking back. I, what, blah, I'm a nut job, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter if you know things. It doesn't matter if you have knowledge in your mind about the way that genetics and RNA works. It doesn't matter if that high school biology would have taught you that this was a bad idea doesn't matter that there's like a well-known line in Blade Runner that discusses the idea of using RNA and trying to change the genetic sequence of a creature. Like, no, 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 no. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter you had knowledge. And you had knowledge. And that you were able to look at the crackheads everywhere, the zombie crackheads in all the blue enclaves and realize none of these people seem to be dying of, of this horrible illness that's like supposedly killing everybody. You didn't want to report that it was only killing mega fats, mega ultra fats. You didn't want to report that. You didn't want to report that it was killing people with, with what is understood as less than about a decade to live anyway. Many of these people less than half a decade by the numbers. So it just, no. It's a, we're going to make this, we're, this is, this is just, oh, oh, this is, this is the scimitar. And now you, and now we'll wield it. <laughs> Good luck, fuckers.